All right, so today we're gonna to be doing our cardio kickboxing class, cardio kempo class, but we're gonna be focusing mostly on the legs today. A lot of kicks, all right? So um, I know we did one the other day that was mostly uh, punching combos. So we're gonna do mostly, um, mostly legs, maybe some uh, punch kick combos, okay? So if you have gloves, that's great. If not, that's all right too. You'll need a bag for this class, otherwise you can try the shadow boxing. Let's start by warming up. Arms, shoulders up and back. Arms up and down. Up and down. Up and down, in and out. In and out. In and out, side to side. Side to side. Side to side. Rotation, all the way around. All the way around. All the way around, and reverse, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Just your hips. Hip action is very important in your kicks. A lot of power comes from your hips. Got to keep them nice and loose. Knees, very important in your kicks. Do not hyperextend your knees. Ankles, also important. The direction of your foot dictates what you hit with. Other ankle, both sides. All right, so let's start by taking this left leg straight out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How high can you get it? What's your, uh, how far up can you, how far can you stretch? Also, try to keep your body up a little bit when you kick your leg out. Let's try not to bend over too far. All right, so try to stay head up, hand out to the side. One, two, work in here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and if you, if you wanna practice your balance, you can like bring this leg down and not touch. Up and back, up and back. Keep your body straight so you're working the core, okay? Small things, just small little things. Let's take this leg straight back 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Work in the glutes and the lower back. Right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want to make that stronger, strap on some ankle weights. Okay. Next one. Left leg. Ballistic kick. Straight up. See if you can kick them under the chin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right side, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, left leg. We're gonna work this hip. This hip goes, foot goes back, circles up and around. That's gonna come in handy. Okay, let's do uh, ten of those back and around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Let's go right side, back and one, back and two, back and three, back and four, back and five, back and six, back and seven, back and eight, back and nine, back and ten. Other side, up, circle, back. Ready? Up, circle, one, up and two. Up and three, up and four, up and five, up and six, up and seven, up and eight, up and nine, 
up and 10. Right side, up and one, up and two, up and three, up and four, up and five, up and six, up and seven, up and eight, up and nine, up and 10. All right, next one. We're gonna bring this leg up, forward, up, down. 10 times. If you wanna put your hand out, make sure, try to get that knee up. The higher the knee, the higher the kick, right? If your knee is only here, the kick goes there. If the knee comes up to here, the kick goes up there, all right? Put your hand out 10 times. Not, not too fast, just practice up, out, in, one. Up, out, in, two. Up, out, in, three. Up, out, four. Up, out, five. Up, out, six. Up, out, seven. Up, out, eight. Up, out, nine. Out, and 10. Also working those hip flexors. Let's do the right side. Up, out, and one. Up, out, and two. Up, out, and three. Up, out, and four. Up, out, and five. Up, out, and six. Up, out, and seven. Up, out, and eight. Up, out, and nine. Up, out, and 10. All right. By the end of the day, you're gonna be having sore hip flexors. All right, next one. Hold and balance. And you should be able to take your arms in any direction. Oop, oop, block, punch, out, in. Okay, make sure you work your balance. Other side, lift that foot up. <sighs> take the arms up, out, front, upper block, upper block, inward block, inward block. All right, next one. We're gonna go up, out, up, down. Try to keep your body kind of up and down. We don't wanna go over to the side. We're gonna work those the abs and the core on the side here. We're working the obliques. So up, stay up, go out to the side. Feel that right in there. Bring it up, down. Up two, up, down. Up three, down. Up four, down, up five, down, up six, down, up seven, down, up eight, down, up nine, down, up ten, and down. You can take any direction you want with that foot. If you want to kick downward, if you want to try to kick sideways, if you want to try to go, go all the way up, up to you. 10 times, ready? Up, out, up, one. Up, out, up, two. Up, out, up, three. Up, out, up, four. Up, out, up, five. Up, out, up, six. Up, out, up, seven. Up, out, up, eight. Up, out, up, nine. Up, out, up, 10. All right, next one. Up, lean forward, back, up and down. We'll just do five, because it's a rear kick, takes a little time, don't use them very often. Up, back, up, one. Up, back, up, two. Up, back, up, three. Up, back, up, four. Up, back, up five, switching sides. Up, back, up, one. Up, back, up, two. Up, back, up, three. Up, back, up, four. Up, back, up, five. All right, let's start kicking. So first kick is a groin shot straight up the middle. So can't really do it with this with this, what we need is something that sticks out, which we don't really have. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stand beside it and go kick straight up, 
and straight down. Let's just do 10. So you lift the leg, point the toe down, you're kicking with your shoelaces straight up the groin. All right, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch feet. We're going from the front foot. This is a front snap. Happens relatively quickly, a little bit harder to block. Ready? Snap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, same thing from the back leg. So keep this one on the floor. This was like kicking a football. So it's a boom. Point your toe, still kick into the groin, but you're putting in a little bit more power. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is where I say don't hyperextend. You wanna kick, control the leg so that you don't hyperextend. It's up, snap, and back 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now we're going to get into the front foot snap kick, but we're going to kick with the ball of the foot. So going like for the, you can go for the groin, you can go for the solar plexus, you can even go for the throat or chin if you want to, but it's up, hit with the ball of your foot. So the first one we were kicking with the with the shoelaces going up. This one doesn't come up, this one goes straight out. Okay? So from the front foot, let's do 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So even though it's from the front foot, you still get a little bit of power out of that. It's not, not no power, right? It's less than from the back leg, but you still get some power. Try to use that hip to push it through. Switch feet. Let's try the other front foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you can also hit the knees. There's no reason why you can't go for the go for a knee shot. All right. So now going with the back foot, same kick, but a lot more power. So you're going to use the hips and the legs. Kick with the ball of the foot and bring it back. All right. Let's try 20 of those. One, two, three. Switching feet. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you can also kick with the flat of your foot, like straight into the chest, boom. It's a good way to stop somebody coming at you, just 
throw up even the front foot with the whole flat of the foot. I don't use that one so much. I prefer this one, but that's all right. Whatever you want to do. All right, next one. The side kick, when we practiced, we were here, up, out, up, back. But this is, if somebody's to your side and you're facing this way, we're gonna go up, out, up, and back. All right? Now, you can do knife edge, where you point your foot kind of diagonal, or you can go straight in with the flat of the foot, okay? I typically tell not people not to go with the ball of their foot on this one. It's a little bit, a little bit harder to do. You can go with the heel, heel, flat of the foot, knife edge, any of those three. Okay, so let's go uh, 20 of those, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Sidekicks get a little bit sloppy. My bad. All right, so other side. We're gonna go up, out, up, back. Ready? Up one, up two, up three, up four, up five, up six, up seven, up eight, up nine, up ten, up 11, up 12, up 13, up 14, up 15, up 16, up 17, up 18, up 19, up 20. All right, so you might have a good side and a bad side. There's also that, right side versus left side. All right. So that's if somebody's beside you and you're facing this way, boom, right? But you could have a guy right in front of you and still do a side kick. Somebody's in front of you, you can go sideways, boom. All right, so you could be here and you just gotta shift your weight, boom. All right, so let's do 10, I'm gonna skip in, skip, side kick. Little hop, ready? One, and back. You cover a little bit more space, get a little bit more power. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Let's try the other side. Always try to keep your hands up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and all right. Those work pretty well. It's a nice little, nice little kick. All right, next one. So let's do a wheel kick. A couple different ways to do a wheel kick. The end is. Here. Okay, you're gonna wheel across. Now at the beginning, you have a couple of choices. 
Some people like to come up first. You know, we're practicing up sideways or up forward. You could come up, pivot. So you're pivoting on the front foot, taking that hip, rotating it. So it's up, pivot. A little bit harder to block, a little bit less powerful than if you were just wheel it around like you're stepping over a chair. Okay, so either way, for exercise and for power and for fun, we're gonna step over. And when we're doing this, stepping over, so we're gonna go up and over, but make sure that you rotate your hip and turn it over so that your foot is coming this way because a lot of times I'll see people try to swing their leg and it comes across this way, which is really kind of weird. Different kick. I mean, if you wanted to kick somebody like that, you could, but it's not a real kick. All right, so we want to pivot that heel, try to get your ankle and your knee horizontal to the ground, and then whip it around, okay? So let's do 10 wheel kicks. Don't forget to pivot on that front foot so you don't injure your knee. Ready? You can, you can kick and swing back, or you can kick and plant and step back. Ready. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can strike with different parts of your leg as well. You can either strike with the shoelaces, you can strike with the shin, or you can strike with the ball of the foot. If you're wearing steel toe shoes, you can just do the, do the toe. But if you're wearing sneakers or no shoes, you could break your toes, so you don't wanna do that. So you typically wanna peel your toes back if you're gonna kick with the ball of your foot. Otherwise, point your toe. You can hit with anywhere from there to, to there. You could take out a knee, come across the solar plex, come across the chin if you can reach. All right, other side. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's another good kick. All right, let's try the rear kick. Again, it's not really used a lot. You might need it in a squeeze. If you're in a pinch and you need to just kind of boom, but you need to know what's behind you, right? So you either have to look over your shoulder or under your arm. Okay, so if we're here, you look, you see somebody's there, you lift your knee, pow. All right, let's do five. Lift and look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's try the other side. Guys behind you. Lift, one, lift, two, lift, three, lift, four, and five. So it's doable, not as pretty, but it's doable. Let me check the time. All right. Kind of try to want to want to try to do one more. It's kind of a spinning back kick. This is really good if you want to lead somebody in. So you're, let's say you're facing them like this, and you're jabbing, and you keep jabbing. You're walking this way, right? So he's walking this way. So you jab, jab, and then you spin around, and he walks right into it. Okay. You might have to set that up, right? You might go one, one, two, one, wheel kick, one, two, wheel kick, one, two, spin around, right? So let's try a couple of those. They get, uh, they can get be a little bit sloppy. So maybe don't go high, maybe go waist level because if you catch them right, right in the solar plexus, it'll take them out. All right, so let's just go 
Jab, shuffle, jab, shuffle, jab, shuffle, spin. And try that one more time. Jab, shuffle, jab, shuffle, jab, shuffle. Let him walk into it. All right, let's try the other side. Jab, shuffle, jab, shuffle, jab, shuffle, and around. Ooh, not pretty. We'll try that again. Ready. Jab, shuffle, jab, shuffle, jab, shuffle, and around. One more time. Let's see if we can clean it up. Jab, shuffle, jab, shuffle, jab, shuffle, and around. All right, a little bit better. We all need a little practice. We all need a little practice. All right, so that's about 30 minutes. So, nice little kick practice. All right, so you can pull this out when you need some work on your kicks. Or if you have like a jacked up shoulder, elbow, wrist, maybe you can't work out for, for a couple of weeks because you have a tweaked wrist or something. Work those legs, right? If you can't work the upper body, work the lower body. All right, so shake out your arms, shake out your legs, do a little full body, take your arms up and down, up and down, up and down, arms and legs, full body shake, three deep breaths, in, out, in, out, in, and out. All right, thanks for our little Cardio Kempo class. Appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the website, ultimatehealth.coach. You can do uh, monthly programs, yearly programs, nutritional program programs, all different kind of stuff. You can buy and download different workouts, or you can just visit you know, each individual workout live, which is more fun, right? So anyway, make sure you drink your water, get your protein, get enough rest, don't get too stressed out. I know uh, things, are, things are crazy out there, but try to chill, all right? We'll see y'all next time. Have a great day, and uh, take care.